Jim Mundorf, Lonesome Lands. Trying this again, I put up a video that had the, and I gave the wrong website. Um, so if you want to buy beef locally, you go to usabeef.org. Um, that is the, that's a local directory. You put in your name and address, and it should bring up the people in your area, the people that are raising cattle in your area that are selling beef direct to consumer. Um, the website I gave out before was Beef USA, which is just turned around, dot org, and that's actually um, a link to the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, which is part of the big problem that we're having with in the cattle industry. Um, and so buying beef locally, back to that, if you're, uh, it's a good thing to do, but there's some things to consider uh, before you get into it. It's going to take a little more effort and, and a little bit of commitment on the customer's part to, to, to get your beef from your local rancher, but it's definitely worth it. Um, and so the things you're doing, what makes it worth it, the value you're getting out of it, is you're, you're giving back to your community, you're, you're supporting that local rancher, you're supporting that local locker, and one of the things I want to talk about is with what those ranchers have to do and what the lockers have to deal with. Um, right now, to, in order to ship across state lines, you have to uh, be a USDA inspected locker or get your beef processed at a USDA inspected locker. And so the, for the ranchers trying to sell direct, they have to find that. I sold beef back in 2005 for a few years and we had to drive I think it was over two hours to in a in a, over a state line to we had to haul our cattle that far to just get them butchered in a USDA locker so that we we're able to ship them ship the beef nationwide um and that's so your local and state lockers are are kind of up against it when it comes to that and there's there's an act right now called the prime act and they're trying to get that passed so that so that local your state lockers that have the same you know quality inspections as USDA lockers um, they are able to ship nationwide. The difference in them and a USDA locker is a USDA locker has a inspector on hand all the time, and that that kind of leads into the main diff the some of the value you're going to get by by buying beef from. Um, your local ranchers, you're going to know where it's coming from. Right now, there are countries, or there are beef packers that are importing beef into the U.S., and that beef is coming in, and if it gets packaged in that in the U.S. processing plant, it can be labeled with product of the USA, and and that goes back to the inspection side of things. Um, I was told I made a few phone calls and and trying to figure out. On this inspection deal but beef plants in Mexico Brazil Argentina now Nambia all over the world they get inspected every three years by a USDA inspector and I think a veteran there's like a team that goes down but it's every three years and they are told what I was told is that the plants that are being inspected are told beforehand before anybody goes down to inspect them that they're coming and some of the plants that are importing the beef aren't even inspected it's an assort I was told it was an assortment they they inspected an assortment of plants in each country and and then they gave them the okay to to import it and so if you really want the safest product um of or, and and best product highest quality product you're going to find anywhere you the best way to do it is to buy it from your local rancher and and you're and it goes a long way for them. Um, and But right now, another one of the issues is a lot of the beef packers or the local processors, your local locker and butcher, are backed up clear into next year because of this coronavirus um, and the meat shortages. And everybody kind of made a rush to, to buy locally also. And so now things are a little bit backed up. So you might have to deal with that. But you need to get on the list and, and support your local your local guy selling beef because um, when this whole corona thing took off and and the and the shelves were all empty and there was a lot of people commenting on these videos how they wanted to buy locally but um, I'm hoping th that keeps up 
because these people that are selling it locally need need the business all the year round and in order to make it work you have to you really have to buy from them all year round and w even when you know there's meat on the shelf in the grocery store and it's a lot easier just to grab it there you need to know you're getting a lot better product and, and the work that those people are going into to get it to you and be able to sell direct is is worth your time um, you might have to a lot of them sell larger packages you might have to clean out some space in your freezer or or buy a freezer but it next time coronavirus comes around um, you'll have beef in the freezer and that's a big thing so in order to buy ordered for these people to be selling it all the time you need to be you need to be buying it from them all the time and not just when you're getting price gouged at the grocery store or, or when there's a meat shortage so